The Cult of the Black Cube, a Saturnian grimoire, is a decidedly left-hand path grimoire by Arthur Moros. This is its second edition, uh, published by Theon Publishing. Uh, the first edition sold out very fast, and uh, this second edition is leaving uh, just as fast as the first edition, basically, and uh, I wanted to show it to you before it was completely out of print. It's only been in print, or rather back in print, for uh, a couple of weeks now, uh, and uh, yeah, we're already seeing almost the end of stocks. So uh, yeah, if, if this is something that you're looking into, um, uh, it, it might be a good idea to get into it uh, quite, quite fast if you're interested. Now, the first edition, uh, basically the author died before the first edition was in fact published, and he had asked David Beth, one of the uh, owners of Theon Publishing, uh, to gather some materials for him for a final chapter. And David Beth had in fact gathered that uh, information, but unfortunately the author actually died before uh, he was able to put it together into an actual chapter. And so this second edition actually has this, uh, um, this, uh, the, this additional chapter added on to it uh, at the very beginning. Uh, so David Beth uh, took it upon himself to complete that chapter uh, based on the uh, information that he had gathered. And um, yeah, it, it now appears at the beginning of the, uh, of the book itself. Uh, my advice... I mean, I, I, I don't know. I guess it depends on whether you've read this already or not. It also depends on how much you know about the Saturnian current. My advice, if you don't know very much about the Saturnian current, would be actually to skip this and go straight to um, uh, Andrew Morris's actual book uh, and read that because that's a really fantastic introduction to the Saturnian current. And then at the end, to come back to David Beth's additional material, which is which is fantastic, by the way, just very, very interesting. Um, but it kind of assumes that you already know all of this. It's not a good place to start, in my opinion. However, what is a great place to start is Thomas Vincenti's introduction here, Saturn the Black Star. It's, it's not an introduction, it's a foreword uh, by uh, Thomas Vincenti, the author of The Faceless God. Uh, so uh, yeah, there we are, Thomas Vincenti. Yeah. So th his introduction is yeah, six pages, something along those lines. And uh, David Beth's essay is a little bit longer, actually. It's uh, it's uh, I'm going to say a good, uh, good, good 25, 30 pages. Yeah. There. Now, let me give you a, a quick overview of the table of contents. There, uh, uh, there we are. So we have that forward uh, and that um, uh, essay there, A Cosmic Heresy um, by David Beth. Yeah, so yeah, about 20, 20 pages. Uh, introduction, uh, overview. So it's basically in three major parts, right? You've got the first part, which is uh, looking at Satur uh, the, the, the Saturnian cult uh, throughout history and geography, right? So we have um, uh, uh, Islamic texts and classical tradition and Indian tradition. Um, and then we have the second part, which is, uh, yeah, the Saturnian um, gnosis, which is really looking at why would uh, anyone choose to follow a Saturnian path? What does it imply? What does it, uh, uh, what, what what, what, what is a Saturnian path, in fact, right? So we're going from just pure anthropology and history uh, to uh, actually a, 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 a possibly an inside look uh, into yeah, what this is all actually about. And then uh, we have this third part, which is the actual grimoire itself, which is um, to say the, the part of the book which um, uh, offers some kind of initiation for the reader who's interested. Uh, my uh, um, take on this is that uh, anyone can be interested in these first two parts 
This third part is going to be interesting. Yes, for anyone who have who has read these first two parts, uh, this third part is going to be interested in someone who has already decided that they wish to follow a Saturnian path. It's also going to be interesting for someone who is curious to find out what kind of um, uh, what kind of rituals and. Uh, um, uh, actions a person wishing to follow a Saturnian path might do in the modern day and age, uh, and so for for me that was that was very interesting as well. Um, uh, nevertheless, the the major um, value for me uh, was in the second path, uh, which really talked about you know what what is Saturn, who is Saturn, and and why would someone choose to invite those kinds of energies into his or her life, right? Uh, uh, so yeah, you can see uh, a little bit of uh, uh, how that um, second, that third part, I beg your pardon, that, that uh, ritual part uh, is... Uh, constructed. There are some uh, rites to simply address uh, Saturn uh, or Saturnian. Um, <clears throat> oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's straight up Saturn, <laughs> right? Um, uh, and then there is uh, what, what uh, the author calls uh, Saturnian magic. Then we have some concluding remarks, uh, a selected uh, bibliography and, uh, and a couple of interesting appendices that you can see right there. There are just over 900 uh, of these regular hardcovers in print. These are not numbered in any way. So yeah, 903 copies uh, that you can see there. There are a couple of uh, extra special, extra nice um, uh, editions for people uh, who have sign significantly more money than um, the, the 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 average mere mortal like me. Um, uh, but uh, but yes, I think that this this second edition is actually quite nice. Uh, the cover right here is uh, is a callback to. Um, uh, let me see. There's there's actually a, uh, the the original picture uh, somewhere in the back here. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, probably not if I'm flicking through it this fast. Oh, yeah, here it is. What do you know? Uh, so that is uh, the engraving by Jacob Matham after Hendrik uh, Goltzius. Uh, there we are. Uh, actually quite a famous engraving. Uh, it's just that the um, the artist uh, is, is actually not known to me. But I certainly know that image. Right. Um... Yeah, uh, in terms of the the construction of the book itself, it's uh, it's you know it's uh, yeah, really your typical Theon publishing um, uh, construction is very nice, very tight. Uh, it feel you know it's it's a good quality material. You can tell that it's going to last a long time. Um, the um, you can see little bits of glitter here uh, showing up. Uh, I really don't know what that is. I, I you know I. I haven't had this book anywhere near any glitter. Uh, it may in fact be uh, this silver paint, which has flecked a little bit. You know, uh, maybe when it where it's been in contact with, with with a pile of them right in the warehouse or whatever it is. That is absolutely not visible in the flesh, right? In 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 uh, you can see it more or less on the screen here. Uh, but uh, but you know, when I look at the book itself, that, that I, I can't really see those those little shiny bits. That's uh, maybe of interest to some of you. Uh, the construction of the book, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very, very nice hardcover um, uh, Smithsone edition. Uh, you're absolutely getting your money's worth uh, with the, the, the usual Theon publishing quality of paper. So that's really nice. What else can I tell you that you might be interested in? The, the, the bookmark is, uh, is very... Uh, appropriately <laughs> black silk um uh, uh yeah and and i think that's about it there are some some uh, a few illustrations throughout um and uh, uh yeah i i i think that any 
occultist, anyone who's interested in whatever occult tradition, whether they follow a left-hand path tradition already or not, uh, can find value in this uh, in in this text. It's written very approachably. Um, uh, Maybe David Beth's text is little is written a little less uh, uh, approachably, which is why I would recommend reading it after the main text. But the main text is written in a very approachable way, a very very readable, very beginner friendly, very uh, um, uh, and a very um, how would I say a very uh, candid uh, approach as well. He you know he doesn't shy away from uh, uh, from 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 any aspect of the Saturnian. Uh, cult and uh, and current, um, nevertheless being um, aware that the reader may find some of this shocking, and so every every step of the way, uh, the author really does um, <laughs> uh, warn the reader. Okay, what you're about to read might be shocking to some, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, uh, take this in context, and so on and so forth, which is quite nice. With regards to whether, you know, if you're finding out about Saturnian um, uh, cults for the very first time, uh, there's a there's a nice uh, little word of caution here as we approach the third part, that uh, that grimoire part, right, where you're, uh, well, the, where the reader who chooses to can can decide to approach uh, Saturn, so the Saturnian Saturnine practice, um, and I, he says here it seems necessary to include a word of caution, whatever the views of the reader. It's been the conviction of entire cultures for thousands of years. Years, that Saturn is a dangerous deity with which to work. His influence even to his friends and devotees can cause harm and hardship. If someone has read this study and feels generally resonating uh, with the character uh, of the uh, Black Cube, then the practices here will genuinely help in building a relationship with the deity. If, on the other hand, one believes that deities are merely archetypes, and this is important, or symbols uh, given uh, meaning only through culture, then the author would recommend the reader to seek out another grimoire with which to experiment. And I think that this is quite a, a an important term. Um, Warning right there. Uh, yeah, this isn't. Uh, yeah, this isn't. Um, uh, this isn't play. This isn't <laughs> right. This isn't um, uh, just fun and games. It's. Uh, it's actually a, a, a very serious decision uh, to um, uh, to work with Saturn, and not something that everyone will have. The, will have the kind of life um, uh, in which such a practice will be welcome, uh, uh, nor m might they actually want the kind of life that will ensue once you actually start down this path. And I think it's quite reasonable to warn um, the reader uh, of, of, um, uh, of such a situation before they actually start, you know, Playing around, you know, uh, and uh, and seeing what it's like, that kind of thing. I think that's quite quite an important thing. However, uh, I'll I'll just reiterate that the first two thirds of the book are uh, informational to a degree that uh, really anyone interested in the occult is going to find of use. Uh, just 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 to be just to be educated, right? Just to be aware. There we are. Uh, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Um, and I'll see you very soon with some more reviews and some more videos. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.